Well, we're getting close to that time of the year where people start decorating or getting ideas about decorating a pumpkin for Halloween. Now, some people just put pumpkins out for the fall season, but uh, Michael Schultz is here. He is a professional pumpkin carver. People pay him to uh, decorate their pumpkins. And uh, explain to us uh, the different techniques there, Michael, of uh, what we do here. Of course. So we're going to start with the very basic pumpkin in the beginning. This is the kind of stuff that you can pick up from any store, whether it be Home Depot, whether mm. it be Walgreens. or You pick up a pumpkin, and we're going to demonstrate two different techniques today. Okay. So the first technique that I'm going to demonstrate kind of is what I call the cutout technique. Yeah. It's where you remove full pieces of the pumpkin mm -hmm. from the, the, the gourd and you kind of get a, a piece that really lights up well at night. Sure. So it's a really great piece. This well, that's, that's more traditional, I guess. That's more traditional. Do. Yeah, and uh, of course the designs aren't as, as traditional, but right. those pumpkins, they don't last as long, do they? Those that's jack -o correct. Jack-o-lanterns, so to speak? Yeah, so the traditional jack-o-lantern faces, when you cut out the entire pattern from the pumpkin, you're gonna have between three and four days to have display this on your front porch before the moisture leaves the pumpkin, it dries out, shrivels up. So these pumpkins, I always recommend carving the cutout pumpkins maybe three to four days in advance of mm -hmm. Halloween. Never later than that, because those pumpkins generally aren't going to last quite as long. Once you remove the layer of the tissue of the pumpkin that protects it, it will dry out very quickly. You'll okay. lose that moisture. You'll lose the pattern pretty quick. On the other hand. So the shaded method. So uh -huh. this method here allows you to do a lot more intricate detail in a pumpkin. So these type of pumpkins, you don't cut all the way through the pumpkin. Instead, you shade the surface of the skin, allowing more, the better effects of lighting. It allows for more detailed type patterns to be put now, on the Now, will, that, will that pumpkin light up? Because I notice you don't have it cut out up, up top. That's but right. But you have it cut out at the bottom, right? That's right. So with these pumpkins, another little trick I like to do to make them last a bit longer is I make the cut from the bottom. Now what is that? How does that help preserve the pumpkin? So basically, when we make the cuts from the bottom, it's a lot harder for moisture to exit the pumpkin this way. So when we keep this layer so on top, it's trapped inside. It's trapped cause, inside. Because the moisture rises. It'll right? rise right as heat when you put say a, a electric light in one of these you're going to get a little heat and as moisture rises it's not going to escape the pumpkin it's okay. much harder and you recommend maybe a, a led light or something i like do that? so the downside with cutting pumpkins from the bottom here is that you don't want to use a traditional flame because of course it'll use up all the oxygen in the pumpkin and it'll mm -hmm. die down so instead what we use are brighter led lights so this is a bit more of an extreme oh, that's example. Fancy. That's a, like a lantern you take yes. for camping or something? This is kind of like that. You, generally speaking, could use something much simpler than that. Uh -huh. um, but that's going to light up fine? That's going to light up fine. At night, these uh -huh. will pop out. So one of the tricks that I do want to mention when you're lighting up a pumpkin like this, because when you first look at these pumpkins, you think, that's not going to light up well at night. Right, yes. So one of the things that you do before you ever start carving pumpkin, whether you're doing a traditional cutout mm -hmm. or you're doing the shaded example, is you want to hollow out the pumpkin as you would traditionally do, but you want to make the walls of the pumpkin as thin as possible. So you use... Get all that gunk out of there. Get all the gunk out, but more than that. Go ahead. But more than that, you want to take kind of a scooper and you really want to scrape the walls of the pumpkin yeah. and scrape out a lot more than just the innards. Okay. The, if you really thin the wall of the pumpkin, it will make it so that the lights come through that much better. Okay, and you've got a Vaseline tip too. Uh, coat That's it with correct. Vaseline. So to make them last a little longer, if you're doing the cutouts, coat all of the areas that you've cut with Vaseline. Traps in the moisture. Traps in the moisture. That's always the trick with these type of carvings. Okay, and uh, if people want to contact you to carve their pumpkins, how would they do so? So I have a Facebook page that's called Gourd Art. So I like to post all of my new patterns on the Facebook page, all the stuff that I have done. Gourd Art. Gourd Art. That's what it's called. Okay, Michael, thank you so much. Of course, thank you. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 